Hello everyone, today I'm going to go over motorcycle aftermarket levers. Uh, so mainly I want to talk about these cheap Chinese ones that you can get that are garbage. And also I have another set of cheap Chinese ones over here. Both of these are Honda CBRs. One's a CBR 300, one's a CBR 1000 RR. And um, this probably applies to other bike manufacturers as well. But um, the main two that I have on these bikes right now are the very common that you see on Amazon and eBay MZS levers, and then also the uh, FX CNC levers that you also see on eBay. Um, I personally, in terms of the eBay cheap levers, I think these uh, FX CNC ones are much better than the MSW ones as these i actually had a pair of these or mz mzs levers i actually had a pair of these on this cbr 300 i put on these fx cnc ones um, because i found the adjustability on these to be terrible and the adjustability on these are better but they're still not great um, so i decided to spend the money and buy vortex levers i actually like the long long levers better um so vortex levers for the cbr 300r and i went ahead and got some asv levers for the cbr 1000 rr and i'll compare them to each other and also compare them to these uh, chinese ones so first thing first is the fact that these chinese ones have tons of play in them especially on this brake lever here i mean it's just absolutely atrocious they do come with spacers sometimes the spacers help sometimes they don't sometimes there's they're too tight or too loose um it's it's not really that great um i mean they they work but the problem is the biggest problem is the adjustability factor on these they're adjustable but the adjustability is pretty useless if you tur tur turn these all the way down to the lowest setting here you actually don't get full clutch engagement that's their biggest problem is that this clutch is not fully uh, disengaged when it's being pulled in here so you're going to have trouble shifting because you're just riding your clutch like this you have to on these there's like no adjustability to get full clutch disengagement you actually have to have it on the six to be able to pull in and for the clutch to disengage. I found the exact same problem with the same type of levers on the CBR 300R. Um, the adjustability had to be on six or otherwise it wouldn't fully disengage the clutch and I couldn't uh, put it into gear. Uh, those were very difficult, especially put in neutral because you, if you pulled it uh, closer than six. Um, so yeah, um, terrible. Uh, you have a little bit of adjustment on the uh, brake lever, lever right here. Right now I have it on the lowest setting. There's pretty much no brake pressure on the lowest setting, the closest setting. Um, mid setting, you can get a lot more. Um, higher up, you can definitely get full uh, adjustability on the last two settings. I think the last three settings. And I think on this one here was like the first like three or four settings you get on the MZS uh, levers. You get full uh, brake power, but overall they're pretty poor in terms of adjustability. You don't really have that full adjustment that you can use, so they're pretty much useless. Um, you do have a lot more adjustability with these FX CNC ones, however. So if I actually go ahead and I can actually, it's close to min and I still have full brake power there. So that's pretty good. Um, actually on min, I think I still have full brake power. So these were definitely a lot better. So if you're looking for cheap Chinese ones, this is good. There is play. There is play on them. Um, I mean, again, not much you can do about that. They're, they're cheap Chinese livers, so what do you expect? Um, clutch. However, I don't have full adjustability. I need them to be, I can get maybe two points out and still be able to fully disengage the clutch. Maybe three points, possibly, but anything lower, you get down the lowest and it doesn't fully disengage the clutch. 
So basically the same thing, you can't get into neutral, you can't shift into gears easily if you have them on the, the closest setting. Um, they, you know, they feel a little springy, uh, lots of play, um, you know, just overall not really great uh, levers altogether. Um, definitely better than the MZS ones. Uh, they look better in my opinion. I really like the way these look. But not really what I'm looking for overall. So I'm replacing those with these Vortex levers. And I will give my comparison to them once I get those on. And once I install those, I'll install my AESVs. And I'll compare my ASVs to the Vortex. And give my opinion about those. Out with the old, in with the new. Okay, Vortex levers installed. They are much better in terms of overall fit finish and just everything is just fit so much better together there's no wobble or anything on them um brake here i have full adjustability of the of the lever itself i can fully brake on the smallest and the largest setting you see you have a lot of uh room there so you can definitely use these uh, and get the full range um, clutch here I adjusted it as well as I could but the very shortest setting here um, I don't get full disengagement I think because when I try and pull it neutral I have a little bit of difficulty I can get it into neutral and up and down gear but I can definitely feel a little bit of resistance click it one up and it's fine um, the rest of the range is fine as well so it could have been a little better but it um, is way better than the uh, previous ones, which had like half, or not even half, uh, adjustability on them, whereas this one has almost full range of adjustability. So there's that. Um, I also much more prefer these long levers. Uh, it gives you a lot more leverage when you're pulling that clutch in and out. So that's the Vortex levers. I'm going to go ahead and install the ASVs and talk about them afterwards. Well, I took these uh, MZS lever off. This is the clutch lever. And the plunger barrel here is completely deformed. <laughs> Gonna have to get a new one. Okay, got the ASVs installed. Let me tell you, these are nice. They feel a lot better than these Vortex ones even. Um, way better than those Chinese ones. Uh, they have very fine-tuned adjustability. Um, I mean, you can fine-tune exactly where you want them. The Vortex ones, on the other hand, have very large adjustments in comparison, um, but the ASVs have very fine-tuned adjustments, so I definitely like that a lot better. You can really get them right where you want them. They feel fantastic. Of course, they look amazing. So, that's that. compare them to the vortex ones here I've got just regular black ones I think they only sell these in black they don't have any other colors really color schemes can't really get any custom uh, adjusters color adjusters either the ASV ones of course have many different color schemes and you can get custom uh, adjusted or custom color adjusters as well so I definitely recommend these ASVs over the Vortex ones. Something to note, this one here is a CBR 300 and this one here is a CBR 1000RR. And the way in which the uh, levers interface with uh, the mechanisms are different because the clutch here is uh, uses a master cylinder. So it's not attached to any type of cable. Um, whereas the CBR 300R is cable actuated so this here it does interface with the cable and does have to be adjusted with the cable. So there is that difference between the two. So your ability to get these uh, adjustments is different than the adjustments that are made on the um, 1000RR. So just something to you know take note of, of depending on what type of bike you have and how your levers interface with the clutch itself. Um, one nice feature about the ASVs that the Vortex don't have is that it's uh, advertised as unbreakable, and the reason for that is because if it, the bike falls, the lever will actually fold like that all the way up. Um, you don't really have that on the Vortex. 
that's the most you have in terms of forward movement whereas the ASVs do move all the way forward uh, so that is a nice feature that these have that the Vortex levers do not have um, overall I'd say for the price I'd recommend the ASVs they are they are a little bit more pricey but really not that much more than these Vortex ones um, in terms of the Chinese ones, the FX CNC levers were definitely better than the MZS levers. Uh, I wouldn't recommend the MZS ones at all. I definitely recommend getting quality levers. Um, they're just they're just so much better. They just feel so much better. They look so much better, and they actually function like they should. Yeah.